welcome to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce Spin to Win Wheel plugin. And in today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how the customers would be able to access the spin wheel uh, within the WooCommerce store and how they can uh, make use of it to get discounts. Thereafter, I'll show you if uh, the customer wins a uh, uh, wins a discount coupon there that can then be applied uh, to the order and then the customer can uh, purchase the product. Uh, with the discounted amount so uh, thereafter we'll also be showing you how the admin uh, initially would be able to set up the uh, WooCommerce spin to win wheel plugin from the admin backend panel uh, so as to make this particular feature available to the uh, logged in customers so uh, now let me show you that so uh, right now as you can see I'm at the uh, WooCommerce uh, web store front end on the uh, login page as you can see and here you can see that we have this click uh, button so if we tap on that, that would trigger the uh, spin to win uh, uh, game. And uh, let me tap that up. And you can see uh, that how it looks actually. That's the spin to win uh, feature that we have set up uh, for the uh, WooCommerce store itself. So to make use of this, you must have uh, a registered email address uh, within the WooCommerce store itself. So for example, uh, if I don't have a registered email address and uh, if I directly want to tap in the email and uh, tap here on the try your luck button, uh, then you'll be seeing that uh, sorry, you're not uh, the site user. You need to create an account to uh, play the spin wheel. Apart from that, the customers can see how much, uh, how, how much uh, has been uh, progress uh, for this uh, particular thing. and. Uh, the uh, time that is uh, left over for this particular spin to win uh, thing uh, in percentage there apart from that you can see that we have the header here the mega contest and we have some uh, content here and uh, the email section and a button to try our luck so for example if I type in my email address that I've used uh, to register on the WooCommerce store and then if, if I try to uh, press this button that's the uh, try your luck button let's see what happens so you can see that uh, it says that congrats John do you're a site user click on uh, trigger to try your luck so now what I need to do is I just need to uh, tap on the trigger so uh, for that so let me log into my account first and then we'll get back to that uh, spin to win section. So uh, after login, I'll just tap here on the uh, trigger that you can see on the bottom right hand corner. So the admin of the web store would be able to set up uh, where actually this should uh, be visible to the customers. And uh, apart from that, the uh, customers can also see the spin to wins uh, uh, menu option wherein they'll be able uh, to view the uh, spin to win details like how many times they have played the spin to win uh, apart from that on the tab one spins uh, will show the coupons that the uh, respective customer has uh, uh, won until now so that was about the spin to win uh, sub menu option for the customers so now let me tap here on the click and now let me tap here on the try your luck so you can see that uh, the uh, wheel is moving and we have this uh, new offer that we have uh, received and you can see that uh, now uh, it says that congrats you won a new uh, coupon and uh, if we apply this then we can get a 10% discount on the cart and uh, I can tap here on the copy code button and uh, I can tap here on the continue shopping button as well to get back so let me tap here on the uh, continue shopping now let me add a product to products into the cart and let me tap on the view cart button and within this section I'll just paste the coupon code that we have received from the spin to win I'll tap on the apply button the coupon code has been applied successfully as you can see and uh, under the cart total here you can see that the name of the uh, uh, coupon is visible and uh, $10 has been uh, given as the discount now let me tap on the proceed to checkout button to make the order there so from here i just need to enter my details rest of the details 
and lastly I'll just tap here on the place order button to complete my purchase using the discount coupon using the uh, spin to win uh, option that we have so here as well uh, before placing your order you'll be able to see the name of the coupon and the amount that has been uh, discounted uh, for your order so uh, that was how the customers can make use of the uh, spin to win at the web show front end after they have logged into the account and uh, they can also uh, check the different uh, coupons that they have uh, uh, received uh, and how many times they have uh, played the uh, spin to win thing so played spin you can see that we had uh, the omega uh, spin contest uh, where we lost we had the winter bonanza sale where we won that and we also had this one the uh, the holiday best offers which we won and uh, we had the uh, respective uh, discount coupons for that and uh, under the one spin coupons so we'll be able to see all of the uh, coupons that we have won and uh, you can see that we had uh, the discount amount as 10 uh, for the same that we just applied on our uh, card page and uh, now uh, let me take you to the admin backend panel and let's see how the admin would be able to set up the WooCommerce spin to win uh, wheel plugin itself so here I am at the uh, WooCommerce uh, backend panel as you can see so I'll be entering my username and password for the uh, admin account and I'll tap on the login button thereafter so after you successfully install this uh, spin to win uh, plugin you'll be able to see on the side panel here we have the spin to win uh, menu option and under that we have three different uh, sections one is the configuration add spin campaign and spin to win so let me open that up in uh, three different windows so we just need to do the configuration initially and then we'll come to the spin to win and the add spin campaign itself and before proceeding uh, uh, further uh, I just forgot to give you a small gist about this plugin itself so basically the plugin allows the store owners to add the spin to win wheel on the front end and the customers can spin the wheel to win exciting coupons or the discounts and uh, the plugin facilitates the store owner to create multiple spin campaigns with the scheduled timing the customers can use one spin campaign at a time with a registered email ID so now let's go to the uh, configuration section first so uh, basically these configuration settings are for the web store front end so from here the uh, admin would be able to set up the and endpoints uh, for each of the sections there so uh, as you can see here we have set up the endpoint for the uh, spin to win dashboard then we have uh, set up the uh, spin to win dashboard label that would be visible to the customers then we have uh, plates uh, plate spin endpoint so here uh, the endpoint has been created uh, for the uh, uh, plate spin dashboard and similarly we have the spin dashboard label and we have the spin coupons endpoint and the uh, one spin coupons dashboard label so basically when the customer goes and checks his uh, 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 spin to wins uh, those pages are having these uh, endpoints for each of them and uh, the dashboard labels for each are also set up here thereafter you just need to tap here on the save configuration button to save the uh, front end endpoint configuration uh, by the web store admin for uh, the uh, customer uh, visibility of these uh, uh, pages now let's see how we can add the uh, spin campaigns and for that we just need to go to the add spin campaign section as you can see and here the admin would be able to set up the spin campaign information as you can see so here we have different uh, uh, fields to configure so uh, the very first one is the spin campaign name so basically here the admin would be able to add the name of the spin campaign that he is going to create then uh, the admin can set this option for the scheduled as yes or no if he has chosen a yes uh, then the admin needs to set the start and the end date uh, for the uh, uh, for the same so if I choose no then uh, you can see that the uh, form has uh, collapsed a bit but if it set it as scheduled then we have the start date and the end date as well apart from that uh, to create a spin campaign uh, we need to enable the status of that uh, particular spin campaign as well and then lastly we said need to set the priority for that 
and uh, lastly uh, we just tap here on the save uh, button and uh, that uh, basically adds the spin campaign successfully and uh, after that what happens is that uh, after you've uh, saved a uh, uh, spin campaign information for a new uh, spin campaign you'll be able to see uh, some uh, more tabs so let me show you that by uh, editing uh, already created a spin campaign that I've just created so uh, under the spin to win the very uh, first one on the left hand side as you can see here uh, it lists all the greatest spin campaigns that the admin has created so here we can uh, the admin can see the complete uh, spin campaign list and can add a new campaign as well by tapping here the add new button let me open that in another window apart from that the uh, admin can uh, basically filter out the uh, created uh, spin campaigns by tapping here on the all enable disable or trash ones so disable would uh, only dis uh, show the ones that are disabled right now so for example if I tap here on the disable link if I tap here on the enable link we'll be able to see all of the enabled uh, spin campaigns so uh, spin campaign list and add new button from here we can also set up this spin campaign once again so now let's come back and uh, here we are on the uh, mega spin contest so let's uh, tap the edit uh, link for that so after you've created uh, one uh, spin campaign it's saved that you can need to come to the spin to win section you need to edit that particular spin to uh, win uh, campaign and after you've uh, uh, you have saved it here you can now see that we are on the edit spin campaign uh, section and here the first tab is the spin campaign information that we were using after that we have the form tab let's go through each of the tabs now and here uh, the admin would be able to set up the welcome form and uh, this uh, basically is the uh, setting for the uh, spin wheel uh, welcome form uh, when the user first opens the pop-up at the store front end okay let me uh, change the uh, spin campaign uh, let's check the winter bonanza sale let me edit that up and uh, after editing that uh, tapping on the edit link uh, we'll be able to see the rest of the details uh, tabs as well as i've already told you now on the form section we are uh, basically setting up the uh, welcome form and uh, these are basically uh, visible to the uh, customers when they uh, first open the pop-up uh, for the uh, spin to win so for example if I take you at the front end here you can see that uh, the winter bonanza sale is there some description is there and uh, so the heading we had set here is visible within that spin to win as well at the top then the description the description is visible there similarly we can set up the background color for the uh, text that we have entered and uh, we can choose the text color as well so uh, you can see that the text color is white and here we have the white color for the text thereafter we can set up the uh, enable customers name validation whether you want to validate the customers name uh, if you choose as yes this, then the customer should have been logged in otherwise you can choose a no for that then we have the customers name label you can uh, set that up as uh, required then we have the button label so uh, the label that you can see on this particular click to spin button that you can see so you can set that up as well you can set the background color for that we have set it as black uh, we can show the progress meter you can enable or disable that this is the progress uh, uh, bar that you can see and uh, this is uh, basically visible to the customers at the so front then we have the uh, progress meter color the green uh, color for the progress meter then we have the progress label 75% uh, off claimed hurry up so you can set that up as well and you can set the progress percentage as per your own requirements we have set it as 75 you can set it as your own required and uh, so this was the welcome uh, form for the uh, spin to win then we have the result form when uh, result is declared at that time that the, uh, this uh, particular info that we set up here would be uh, visible to the uh, customer so for example if I tap here on the click to uh, spin we have won a new coupon and now you can see that uh, it says congrats you won this coupon and we can copy the coupon code and we can also tap here to continue the shopping so uh, uh, on the result from uh, you can see that we have set up the background color as uh, white as you can see 
then we have set as the background color to as this and the same background color there we have set the text color as black it's black here we have set up the uh, button label continue shopping so we have the continue shopping uh, then we have set up the uh, button background color button text color white background is black the coupon background color white and uh, then we have set up the coupon text color as green okay so uh, for this coupon code the background color is green that we have selected here and then we just need to tap around the save button for this particular uh, uh, spin campaign that we are creating let's go to the spin wheel form now and uh, basically here we can uh, set up the uh, uh, the wheel itself with its uh, different segments uh, that we'll talk about in the next tab so uh, from here uh, this is basically these settings are for the spin wheel settings and here we can set up the spin to win image that you want to set up so that would uh, be visible to you so here this icon that you can see that looks like a location so uh, you can set that up the spin to win image then we have the background color the background image with a heart and uh, thereafter you can set up the uh, background image repeat property whether you want to repeat that or not as per your own requirements and we have different options for that uh, for the background image repeat property then we have the show pins you can uh, enable or disable the pins you can set up the pin color pin stroke color you can set up the show in a wheel in a radius can be set up in a circle color and the rest of the uh, options as well you can also set up the text direction and the text orientation whether you want to set it as horizontal vertical or uh, curved you can choose the text direction as reversed or the default one then uh, you can save that up and after that we have the spin wheel colors form so uh, there are different colors within the spin wheel itself so uh, you can set them up uh, from this section here and uh, then you can also choose the spin wheel result form uh, you can set up the segment colors and the rest of the details there when a customer basically uh, wins it so that was the spin wheel uh, form uh, for the spin wheel uh, configuration then we have the uh, segment list so here the admin can add a new segment by tapping here on the add new button and apart from that he can also view all of the segments that the admin has already created so basically the admin creates a spin segment labels and these are visible within these uh, different sections as you can see like the 10 percent off apply coupon uh, spin again better luck next time unlimited discount so uh, here you can see that we have the new coupon for example and uh, let me take you back uh, we also have the all right we have the apply coupon and uh, here you can see that we have the apply coupon segment and uh, let me edit this up before that let me show you how we can add uh, the uh, uh, what we say as the segment so you need to set up the segment name its status the type whether win lose spin, uh, spin again the heading the description uh, the limit the gravity probability the position and do you want to restrict the coupon to the winner and the coupons uh, that would be applicable to that particular segment so the name the label that you set up here would be visible to the customers here for example the apply coupon and uh, now let me come back to the segment list and uh, let's tap here on the apply coupon edit option so you can see that we have the apply coupon here we have the apply coupon enable type is win heading uh, add coupon to get 25 percent off so right now we cannot see that uh, but uh, if you win that you'll be able to see that up then we have the description the limit uh, for the same maximum number of times it can occur so uh, you can set that up you can set the gravity or the probability in percentage uh, so it's the probability of occurrence between 0 to 100 uh, you can set up the position of uh, the same to manage the position on this spin wheel at which number you want to set that up uh, that particular uh, heading uh, that particular label uh, for that you're creating for the spin campaign itself and uh, lastly just tap here and the save uh, button now let's go to the layout configuration uh, for the spin to win 
So uh, under the left configuration, basically uh, the admin can set up the uh, view how the uh, spin to win should uh, be visible to the customers. So do you want to it it to be uh, uh, coming up like the from the sidebar slide from right to left, or do you want to have it as a pop up dialog? So right now you can see that it comes from the uh, right to left. So we can also set it as a pop up dialog box. Uh, we can set up the pop-up position whether you want to set it, the pop-up at the right left or the center you can set up the spin wheel trigger button position so this is uh let me close this this is a trigger uh, button for the uh, spin to win so you can set it as bottom right top right bottom left or the uh, top left or in any of the four corners as per your own requirement there now let's go to the trigger settings and uh, under the trigger settings the uh, admin can set up the visibility form so basically uh, spin wheel visibility can be set up uh, where actually it should be visible do you want to have the spin to wheel uh, to be available at the checkout page within the my account section on the shop page uh, on the landing page or the cart page so uh, this basically uh, sets up the spin wheel visibility where actually you want to display the same apart from that you can set a logo uh, for the uh, a spin to win uh, what we say as uh, the trigger this is a trigger for that and uh, you can set up the spin button form as well so spin to win image you can set up uh, as you can see and uh, you can set up to show the button as well uh, you can set up the button color text color and the uh, button label as well so uh, this set particular setting is for the trigger button for the spin wheel and uh, that's this one actually this one and uh, thereafter you just need to save the settings and lastly we have the report section uh, so we'll go to the report tab and we'll see what different options are there so from here the admin can check the spin wheel sales report as required or we can see the coupon sales report uh, according to year last month this month last seven days or the custom days and the admin can also export it in a comma separated value file as required and the admin, admin can see the total number of discounts in total and the total number of coupons used uh, by the customers and uh, the admin can also filter it by uh, coupons like the most popular ones and the most discounted ones so uh, that was much about the WooCommerce Spin to Win uh, plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding how it works and if you still have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.